Look ahead at the forecast showers this morning at the beach, then clearing out. And it's going to be a great day to be out and about along the coast. Then the showers move inland. Take a look though at 618 on your Sunday. This is our Melbourne Sky Cam. And you can see a downpour offshore there. The good news is that this guy for now is just kind of drifting slowly to the north. So it's not going to be too much of a bother. 71 degrees currently, winds out of the west at about five. And it's because of that west kick that this thing's not moving on in. If that wind calms down, we're going to get some rain moving in pretty quickly. Here's where we are watching some rain, though. North of Mims here in Brevard County, crossing over I 95. Titusville, right around Garden Street, watching some light shower activity heading toward Washington Avenue. And as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a storm track on this just to give you an idea of when this will be moving into. To your neighborhood moving at about 10 miles an hour or so. So we're putting it into Titusville at about 619, the high school 624, and Indian River City at about 630 this morning. The good news is not heavy, and as a matter of fact, it's weakening, but you can see that line of showers continuing southbound uh, all the way down off the Treasure Coast as well. It's all courtesy of this weak area of low pressure out over the Bahamas giving us this onshore kick. That combined with a weak backdoor fro uh, cold front, and we've got moisture in place. So for the Day today, scattered showers and storms early along the coast, then quickly pushing inland through the afternoon. Best chance of the heaviest activity is going to be from about Orlando off toward the west. 90s interior, mid 80s along the coast. Temperatures right about where they should be this time of year. Here's first alert future cast. Seven o'clock, and uh, some of those coastal showers continuing. One or two might impact us in Volusia, but I think that the model is a little bit overzealous with that shower activity. By about 10 o'clock, things quiet down. So you're heading out to morning services, taking a nice walk on the beach, you're going to be a OK. But watch what happens. This is 1 o'clock, and we're already developing showers along that quicker east coast sea breeze. Earlier showers across the interior, and then they quickly march off toward the west by about 4 or 5 o'clock. We're nice and quiet once again, and the showers and storms that do try to develop will be over on the west coast. So, Hollywood Studios, here's your forecast. Basically, between 12 and 3 is when you're going to get the showers and even the potential thunderstorm. But all in all, if you're heading out for Star Wars weekends, no problems when it comes to weather. Along the coast, because of that added kick of the onshore winds, rip currents are more of a concern today. Moderate risk, seas running about 2 to 3 feet, water temperatures upper 70s to the lower 80s. Tracking the tropics, nothing out in the open Atlantic. The Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, all nice and quiet as well. Here's your first alert seven day forecast. Uh, drying conditions as we head through today and tomorrow as we kind of move some high pressure on in. Then shower thunderstorm chances on the increase Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And look at Friday, Saturday. Jasmine, 94 to 95. Summer is kicking into Central Florida.